Hello everyone, this is Cypherdeck, and we are back in EverQuest on Chords of all people. Who would have guessed? Chords! Ha! So, I'm kidding. Um, so, I was dragged out of the body of Fever, thrown on the ground, and then put back into the body of Chords so that I could be a part of this guild group. Um, <laughs> we're in Soul A. And we are at what I guess you would call the foreman um, camp. Uh, because right under these steps here leads to a room where the foreman's tunic drops. So I guess it's the foreman who drops it. Anyway, we um, were here for several hours. Get a lot of items because we killed Cinder and the named goblin twice. Not named goblin, but... Um, the um the kobold who drops the the slippers and um yeah had a lot of fun we um we had in our group um a shaman a cleric a cleric <laughs> a bard a rogue a shadow knight shaman cleric cleric bard shaman, uh, shadow knight rogue yep just getting it on my fingers that's six. <laughs> and uh, we also have help from a guildie of ours who's in our in their uh, 50s. And um, we, they were supposed to be in our group, but we ended up um, getting too many people. Um, and weren't able to get their, their um, showmen into the group. But in the next, um, on Sunday... Uh, we were able to get them um, into the group, and so that was awesome. We were talking it over at some point uh, of other zones that we could go to because this place is way over camped. And, of course, some of the zones we could probably go to are like um, Mistmore, but I'm, I'm tired of that zone, as are several other people because of the fact that that's the only zone that they go to usually um, around these levels. Um, another one that was brought up was permafrost, which would probably a good uh, be a good analog for this zone because of the fact that it literally is the same levels. Of course, um, permafrost goes up to 50s because of the fact that it has uh, Vox in it. We're... Um, you can go to permafrost and uh, get the same ores, the same experience, uh, even probably get access to more names than you can here. So we may end up moving there for our next group, which would be on Monday, and um, and doing that. But I really don't know how all of that's going to um, turn out. It really depends on the group what they want to do, and um, and all of that. So I um I was in a group on Saturday with Chords again with uh, this guild group and we ended up having a enchanter in the group and we learned um, that the enchanter's mez is overwritten by the bard's mez which is kind of odd I would think um, but the problem is is that when you're engaged with say a wizard or a shaman it keeps them from uh casting so if we are going to have an enchanter mezzing and me not mezzing then that means that while the mez will stay longer they have to spend less mana which is in all uh, accounts the best way to do it um the um, as that I have, if I don't use it on wizards and shaman, that means it's more healing on the parts of the clerics. So it really, it's one, um, it's either or mana is going to be lost either because of the fact that we're not, um, keeping them constantly, uh, from casting or that we have a solid mez. But uh, the only other way you could work around it is if you were to, um, by the way, this is uh, where I'm stuck in a wall because of the fact that I was rooted as I was pulling to the group, which right down that hole there is where my group is. 
uh, ended up having two guildies come out and get um, uh, pull one off of me and then also heal me. Um, but what was I saying? I was on a, a perfect train of thought. Um, it, uh, mezzing. So uh, the the perfect way to do it would probably to have um, half of us have, have pull the mobs to one side and then kill on the other side and then have the all the mobs grouped up on the one side mez and then on the other side when we're killing wizards or shamans we're keeping them from casting and whenever um what, what i'm talking about with them keeping them from casting you're going to see how you're going to actually see it in this um in this section here where the mobs can't cast because of the fact that they're charmed so every cycle that um that i'm about to charm them again or not charm but mez they are starting a cast but it's interrupted by the mez and it hap happens several times because we're about to kill these uh the wizard and the shaman but either way, if we were to actually pull them away from where the other Mez mobs are and and me do my Mez, then it would have probably worked a little bit better. But I don't know. I'm not really going to worry about it. If we have an enchanter in the group, I'm not going to Mez unless um, they go down or they're out of mana or whatever the case may be. Ended up... Um, I think around this point, once we kill these mobs, we decided that we were going to go ahead and me and the rogue were going to go um, split the, not split between us, but go sell. Uh, I was going to run him to the merchant because he is the barbarian. He has the most strength. Run him to the merchant, him sell, come back here, do a split, and then continue to do the same thing over and over again until we decide to leave. So this is um, this is pretty much all I have of the recording is um, from this point on it's just us running to um, to sell. So I hope you like the video um, plan for more apparently because of the fact that this is going to be a static group I believe and um, I seem to get, keep getting pulled into it. Uh, even though I was going to do some um, a crafting last night, uh, it was more beneficial to be in this group than it was to do my own thing on my crafting because I still was able to get some of that done, which you'll see in another video. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching again. This is Cypher Deck. Have a great day, a great evening, a great week.